Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about Instagram and how uh, to grow nowadays because many things changed since I started Instagram. Uh, the algorithm got very complicated and it is not that easy anymore to grow. I can remember like five years ago when I started Instagram, big pages like Hypebeast shouted me out and I gained like 10,000 followers right away in one day. And that is not that easy anymore, unfortunately, but there are a lot of secrets and a, lot of, a lot, and a lot of things that you can do uh, or how to cheat the algorithm in order to grow. As far as you guys know, you can find me on Instagram. My name is Zetsly. You can find the link to my account in the description or here in the corner or somewhere here. Yeah. How to grow on Instagram. Basically a very interesting and very difficult topic because it's not that easy. There are certain rules, there are certain things that you can do. The most important one is the quality of your post. It means the better quality you post, the easier you will grow. Because the algorithm always counts the likes, the views uh, on Reels. Thank you very much. My DOP is, uh, is messing with my, with my <laughs> vlogs down there. Thank you very much. I have to start over again. No, just kidding. We will not cut this out because it's funny. <laughs> no, it's not. Funny. <laughs> Your mama is funny too. <laughs> well, in order to cheat the algorithm, you need to post quality content, whatever it is. If it's reels, if it's uh, Insta stories, posts in your, um, on your, in your feed, videos, photos, it has to be quality made. It means in order to be quality, it has to be creative or you need to check locations, not to post like five posts, like five pictures from one shoot or one location. Just try to change locations, post one post from one location. And if possible, try to post picture families. That means not just one picture in one post, but at least two, three or four or five, how many you have. Because the more pictures you post, the easier you will get uh, the attention of your audience and the easier you will grow. Well, this is the first very important rule. Post more pics, not just one. Better than pictures, post videos. Videos will gain a lot of followers and a lot of attention because people like to see moving things like videos. Pictures are good, but videos are better. What is actually very new and very important right now, because since there is TikTok and this is a competition app for uh, Instagram, you should focus on Reels because Reels will get the most audience and the most attention. This is a very um, new thing and uh, many people would uh, not know it, but if you post, for example, one video in your feed compared to a uh, Reel, you will not get not even like 10% of the attention like if you get uh, if you would post it as a reel just try it for yourself and this is the second rule that you have to do or uh, w which which is important for instagram just try to to experiment experiment with the things you post try to do things and check out if they if they um, get attention if they if you grow with a certain for example a post and uh, if it does just try to do it better for example if you see okay i post a picture i get like 1000 likes however you get and you post more pictures and you see oh I get like two or three thousand you will immediately note that this is better to do so um, in addition to that it is very important that you always have stories posted on on your account that means try to post stories all over the day not just in the morning you wake up you post your stories but once in one hour at least try to refresh and post stories try to keep people entertained <laughs> <laughs> try to keep your audience and try to keep your audience and <laughs> try to keep your audience entertained by posting stories every one hour at least during the day try to keep it creative try to show them what you do for, for example what you do during your day but not how you make breakfast and eat it or something like this try to be as much creative as you can so that people like the things you do if you are into cars for example show them your cars if you are into fitness show them what you do show them what you eat show them how you work out if you are into fashion show them how you dress show them your lifestyle show them your i don't know bags if you have expensive bags 
I mean, girls know exactly what to do in order to keep their audience um, entertained. And this is what you should do. Just be, try to be creative. Try to do something that, like nobody did before. Try not to copy people, because if you copy, somebody did it before and it's not that interesting for your audience, for sure. Like you do something unique, something that nobody did before. That's why I always try to do my thing, not to copy people, because there are so many things on, on the internet that you could copy that might be interesting for you, but there is a, for sure a lot of people who are checking out uh, social media. They know it for sure. They know it, they saw it before on TikTok and Instagram, and it's not that interesting anymore. I told you before that it's important to post reels because you gain a lot of audience and you get a, a lot of uh, views. In order to even raise the amount of views that you have for the reels, try to post your reel into your story because if you do so, the views that you get on your story will be count as views on your reel. That means by doing that, you gain again a lot of audience and you're gonna have much more views than uh, compared to not doing it. So try to post your reels into a story like many people do with their new post, post them into the story and expect to have a higher amount of views or likes for your posts. Try to do your own thing if you think it's important or if you think that it's, it works out for you, just try to do it. Well, yes, it is, it is an option. You can also sponsor, but once you start sponsoring, the algorithm will, will change, change in, in not in your favor. Yes, um, you should try. I mean, it depends. If you have a lot of money and you want to grow, of course, it makes sense to sponsor your posts. This will get you audience. It will uh, bring you a lot of uh, views. But once you stop, this is what you have to bear in mind. And this is important for you to know. Once you stop sponsoring, the algorithm will change and it will stop giving you audience. That means once you sponsor again, you put money into it, you will get again your um, audience back. Otherwise, it will fuck up your reach. And this is not so good because you have to sponsor and put money into it all the time. Otherwise, it will stop. Sorry guys, my phone is always uh, in my reach so I can get uh, your messages and your notifications on uh, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. You can find me on all three social media platforms under the name Zetzlein. So in case you like my videos, try to subscribe and also hit this notification bell so you get updated with my um, videos and maybe also learn something out of it like this video here because there are certain people who grow faster than others. Well, there is one more thing that you can do in order to grow is to give away certain goods. Like me for myself, I always used to give away Z performance wheels. People like that a lot. It brings a lot of uh, followers. It brings a lot of uh, followers to my company. And uh, there is at least one lucky guy who can get one set of wheels for free and he can mount it on his car and he's very happy. And uh, in my opinion, it is a good way to gain uh, followers or to grow by organizing giveaways. So I advise you to do so if you like and if you want to put some money into it, but not sponsor your posts in order to get a um, bad reach. In order, uh, if you if you don't uh, if you stop sponsoring, you can do giveaways. And maybe if you decide to make a giveaway, you can also do a collaboration, a collab with another influencer, which is maybe uh, more famous than you, who is having a lot of followers in order to push your giveaway. This is also a good way to grow in case you have somebody or you can contact someone who is uh, very famous on Instagram or has at least some followers. You can do this cross promotion and uh, grow at least faster than um, without him. It's also a good way to grow. I never did this before, but uh, I think this could work out. I think this is it. Pretty much all these things could help you grow in case you didn't know them. Um, maybe you learned something and I'm very happy to um, help out in this area because many people ask me how to grow on Instagram and this is why I made this vlog in order to help you guys and um, I hope you apply it and in case you apply them and see some um, results feel free to tell me in the comments because I'm happy to see if uh, my advice is get also to the people that uh, um, want to learn so we can uh, see 
if it's real or not, if my advices are true or not. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, no, don't forget to subscribe, also hit the notification bell, I think I said this before, right? Uh, in order to stay updated with my videos. Take care of yourself and happy growth on Instagram. Take care guys, bye bye.